Hey there, it's me, Chris Colley. I am going to be trying my live again, seeing if this one will work and not stop up in the middle for us. Um, I come here once a week and do a live, kind of a free class. And this week we are gonna be talking about celebration. Just trying to make sure I'm in the right group here and that I can see where I am. Today, technology is not my friend, but let's just see. Sometimes I've been known to go live on my whole, my personal page and my group page, and sometimes I'm just <laughs> not all together with it. Today, I think, though, I may have it down. First time I went on a few minutes ago, um, my internet connection went out, and so I assume that the video stopped. So let me just plug on here real quick and see where I am. It's gonna apparently be one of those days, but that's all right. We can deal with those days. The sun was shiny today. We had some storms. I hope it's been nice wherever you are. Okay, I can see I'm in the right group and I'm going live. So I'm gonna back this up just a little bit. Today we're gonna to talk about celebration because celebration, it happens twice a year now with Stampin' Up. It happens in January and February and then we have another summer celebration in July and August. So July is our month for this catalog. And it is good, um, July, let me see how come I'm not in here anymore. Let's see if that does it. Um, July 1st through August 31st. If you don't have a catalog, please let me know. I'm happy to share one with you. I can put it in the mail or I can send you a link so you can um, see it online if that's the way you prefer to look at it. So today, I'm going to share some celebration products with you, but I just wanted to quickly flip through here so you can see what we're offering. These items are all free with a minimum qualifying order, and they are only good while supplies last. So we do have um, one product that has already been depleted, the stock of it, and so you do want to be aware that if there's something in here that you really want, you want to get it as soon as possible. So the first one on page four is the Hippest Hippos, and there are seven stamp sets in it, three little hippos, and one of them's even like winking with a little flower, so adorable, and then four sayings. You can see some great little samples here. And then another one that um, qualifies with a $50 order is a free set of dies, and these dies coordinate with the stamp set that you just saw. So you can place it two $50 orders and choose one of those with each order that you place. And then we have these this gorgeous designer series paper that coordinates with the Ringed with Nature bundle. This is the um, designer series paper we'll be using tonight. It has some great little um, products in it. Um, the stamp set or the die set in the big catalog is actually a die that will cut and emboss. So you can see right here, let me get a little bit closer for you. You can see where this die has cut out these images and embossed it at the same time. And that is a, just a gorgeous card. They fancy cut some of the images from the paper to make that. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful card. So that stamp set or that set of designer series paper coordinates with the stamp set in the catalog. This is the um, item that it has been sold out already. It was a pool party of soft seafoam cards and envelopes. They were absolutely gorgeous, um, but we can't get them anymore. So that kind of reiterates that sense of urgency. This one is called Stylish Sketches and it has some little figs, two little ducks and a fox. And this is great for watercoloring. This month is watercolor 
World Watercolor Month. So that's a, those are some great images to be watercolored. This one is some gold and silver designer series paper. It has stripes in it and little dots. So you have four different patterns. You can get stripes and dots in gold and stripes and dots in silver foil. And they're really, really pretty. They fancy up your card. And then this set of um, phrases, amazing phrases. And this you can earn free with a qualifying um, $100 order. Lots of good stuff in this catalog. These are free die cuts and they coordinate with a trees for sale stamp set, which is in the um, big, the mini catalog. So it's in the July to December mini catalog and it coordinates with them. It has this great little trailer image, which is so cute. And I love these trees and they have little layers on them. There's also some puffy paint in the big catalog that um, you can use to kind of give it that puffed up um, snow covered feel to it. This one includes the stamp set and the designer series paper and that's free with a hundred dollar purchase and you can see these great cards that um, they're sharing with us. So beautiful. That might be one of my favorites. Now if you host a party during celebration with a minimum of $300 in sales, you can earn this perfect pomegranate stamp set. I love the leaves and the flowers in that one. So pretty. And then of course there is a joining special where you can join. Our starter kit is $99 and you can pick $125 worth of merchandise to add to your starter kit and you'll get this making plans collection free. So it's a planner, a um, 18 month planner or 16 month planner and the stamp set, three little folders and this great binder with all of the um, accoutrements to go inside and I will share that with you this weekend too so you can kind of see it on the live it is absolutely beautiful so that's our quick tour through that catalog let me see I can see some people are on here watching so let me see if anybody has any questions so far Michelle's here thanks for coming back Michelle Michelle was here my first time when the internet went out so I'm glad you came back and I hope things are working a little bit better now and you can hear me and everything is good, right? So here's a card that I am going to, I made I, to share with you using the um, products that are, I'm still getting used to my new camera action here. So this one was made with the um, celebration cards and envelopes that match them. So you can see how gorgeous it is. I'm sad that they're gone already and um, I do have some more of them coming. So we will have some, some fun playing with them. And um, we're gonna move on. This is the designer series paper that is free in the celebration catalog. So it is, um, they are 12 by 12 sheets. So you have, and I've just cut it down to six by six. You get two of each. And I love this. Let me make them straight for you. So this is just brown trees, which is gonna look really good. That little fox in there, maybe some deer for Christmas. And then this side is the poinsettias, which is absolutely beautiful. I love that dark um, shaded spruce. This one is so cute. I love all of those really great fall colors. And then this one just has the circle, the ringed tree image there. I like how it's kind of a watercolor look and you can see the lighter and darker shades of green. This one is great for a Christmas card that says from our home to yours. And I love that combination of the light and dark blues together and the light and dark greens. And then this is just um, kind of an abstract image, which I think is really pretty. The green and blue together is gorgeous. And then here you just have these birds. I think those are so pretty. And I love that kind of washed out watercolor look. This looks kind of like it was washed out with that salt technique, which is really, really pretty. And again, another great fall image. And kind of a watercolored look. And beautiful flowers. I love the color coordination with these flowers. And then you have just the um, plaid on the back of it. So those are all of the papers in that celebration 
um, packet of paper. And again, let's see real quick if I can go through here and find it. It is on page six and seven of the celebration catalog. That's where you're going to find those papers. These items that have things that coordinate with them, I think are the items that are going to be sold out first. So those are the kind of items that you do want to purchase first. So it has the, in the big catalog, it has the um, embossing folder, which is a hybrid embossing folder, meaning you have this die that fits on it with a little bit of playing. So you're gonna put your die right on top of your embossing folder and your paper is gonna actually go here. Your die is gonna go here and you're gonna close it up and put it through your stamp and cut and emboss machine. And it will actually cut out images and emboss them at the same time, which is really, really cool. And then you have all of these other dies um, that you can use to cut things out. So you have one, two, three, four, five little dies, little ring-shaped dies for the tree. You have your little acorn with the top to it. And then you have some sprigs. There's some little holly berries right there. And just lots of fun pieces to that. In that, um, the dies actually have 16 different dies. So there are a lot of dies in there. And then this is the Ringed with Nature stamp set. And you can see again, we have a little heart here. There's some berries and some little leaves. Um, thinking of you, get well soon, just for you. Merry Christmas, love and warmth, happy anniversary. So you can cover a multitude of events with just the sayings in here. And then of course the house matches the house on the designer series paper, as does the poinsettia. And then you have the three stems with the three tops to the mushrooms. And then you have some flowers in there too, some little sprigs, and of course your little acorn. So lots of fun there. We used these cards last night for um, our team make and takes. And they were actually um, team make and takes from my upline. So um, these were designed by Rhonda Wade, who is a very talented demonstrator. So this is the first one we're gonna use. And it, this, these cards will all co use the coordinating products with the um, designer series paper from the um, mini catalog. So we're going to just, I didn't bring my bone folder over here, but I'm gonna crease it with my nails here. And then your designer series paper is a five and a quarter by four inches. So I'm just going to put some stamp and seal on there. And Nancy Kelly happened to help me out with the um, die cuts in the cardstock and all of the prepping for these make and takes for my gals last night. It's always great to have a good helper. Nancy is one of my downline and I have a wonderful team. So everybody is always out there to volunteer to help me out when I need it. Okay, so we're gonna take, she did cut and emboss this little ring of a tree here. And I'm gonna take my soft suede ink pad and my little sponge dauber. My sponge dauber has seen better days. I might have to replace that. You can see it's leaving some little fuzzies on my ink pad, so. That's a sure sign that it needs to be replaced. And I'm just going to lightly take that over my image and it's gonna add some dark accents to it. And that will make it look a little more realistic like a real tree trunk. Okay. And then I'm going to take this piece, which was a die cut using some of our stylish shapes. I think it's the stylish shapes dies. And they had some great little banner images, some stitched circles and some stitched rectangles or squares maybe. They're new in the um, annual catalog. I have just a little stampin' spot here and I am going to stamp my words. These are all words from that um, stamp set. Okay, and then we have two little acorns. 
And if you notice, the bottoms of these acorns can also be used as the tops for the um, mushrooms. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. That's a, a tiny space for me to kind of try and get my tape. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there. Try not to flip it over and get your whole workspace glue. There's a little bit of a design in the top of this acorn, so you'll be able to tell your top from your bottom. And I'm just gonna put those right on top of my acorns. And we'll do that for both of them. So this is crumb cake cardstock with a little bit of soft suede for the top of it. And I'm gonna use some Stimpin Dimensionals. to put on my words. So I'm just gonna flip my sentiment over and use some dimensionals in the corners here. I'm gonna put my little ringed tree down flat. So I'm just gonna use some stamp and seal for that one. If you hold your stamp and seal up when you're applying it like this, you're going to keep it so that the stamp and seal point is there. Okay, so I'm just going to add my little tree trunk. Take the backs off my stamp and dimensionals. And pop my words up there. And then I'm going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on these little acorns. I'm just going to put one right in the back of each of them. And that should hold them. Put one there. And you can see how quick and easy this is, thanks to all of Nancy's hard die cutting work. Really, die cuts aren't hard. And I do have just a little bit of a glue dot from somewhere there, and I forgot to bring mine over, so I'm just gonna put that on the bottom of my bow. I tied off all the bows, so they're all done. And put it on like that. So there's our first card. How fun is that? I really like it, and it really has that nice fall look to it. So let's move on. I actually am doing, this catalog had so much stuff in it. The mini catalog, there was great stuff for fall and for um, the holidays. And so I actually mixed mine up. So we're going to do a stamp a stack um, with celebration items on August 6th and august or july 23rd we're going to do fall cards and hit up some of those um oh michelle i'm all good thank you michelle <laughs> it's nice to know you can hear me and see me and i'm not upside down <laughs> so i'm going to actually do fall cards in um, july 23rd and celebration cards in august and then in september we're actually going to be starting the Christmas cards, which is kind of a different start for us, but um, it's a good way to go. So this one, I'm just going to give my little card base, which is crumb cake, a little crease up there. And this die is from our Colors and Contours. And so I'm just going to pop I'm not I'm gonna use my stamp and seal to put that on. Just gonna make sure I'm straight. And then this beautiful isn't this a designer series paper so pretty? I just absolutely think that that is so cool. So I'm gonna add that. And as always, the hardest part of Reading with these designer series papers is deciding which side of the paper to use because it's all so beautiful. 
And I again have a little Stampin' Spot for this one. I have Stampin' Spots in all of the colors because um, I like to use them with my um, Stamparatus. And some of them come in my Paper Pumpkin, so I do save those. And sometimes they're just kind of nice. Last night I had four cards we were making and three of them used soft suede ink. So I had two ink pads, but I had to use one of the Stampin' Spots. So, and they do ink up the same way. They give you the same kind of crisp, nice image. So it's not a big deal. They have to swap out and use those. And again, I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this one. Some of these cards are super, they go together super quick and easy. And this one, I think, again, is the stylish shapes dies, or the fancy frames dies. Maybe this one is fancy frames. We got some great dies in our new catalog, and then some more great dies in our mini catalog. So, our new catalog came out in June. The mini came out in July. And I'm not really sure of my names yet, but I will get them. I'll learn them very quickly, I'm sure. So that is how that's going to look. And I actually am going to put this right down here, I think. I think right there it's going to look nice. On my one for class last night, I put it at the top. So I think I'll put it at the bottom. You could put it at the side. You could skip it if it was for your son or more of a masculine recipient. Um, I didn't bring my glue dots over. I normally would use a glue dot here, but... Tonight, I'm going to be using some of our green glue. And then I'm going to decorate this one with these great... Um, sometimes these go back in the envelopes and they get sealed up when they don't really need to be. So that's, we're going to take these out. These are solid faceted gems. And they come in the black, the pool party, sweet sorbet, blushing bride, um... Starry Sky, and I'm not sure which this one is. I'm sure I should know that, but it will come to me as soon as I stop talking, right? <laughs> so I'm going to use the Blushing Bride and the Pool Party and just pop some of these on here. They, all of these colors coordinate really well with this um, designer series paper, so you really can't go wrong if you were to get this paper for free and order this pack of accessories to go with it. And they're just really cute. Okay, so I got three of those and I think I will add two of these little kind of green ones. And again, I could have brought my little take your pick tool over here, but did not, so. Just kind of using my fingers for those. Okay. So that's this one. Let's, your glue is going to take a minute to dry. So don't be flapping it around like I am. That is some of the nicest ribbon in our new catalog. It has this really nice soft feel to it. And you can see those dots don't deter from it, but they just kind of get a, a little bit of sparkle and um, some interest. All right, so let's, I'm trying to clean up as I go so I don't have this big, huge mess where I can't find anything because I know that's annoying for you guys to sit there and wait while I try and find where I've left off all of my goodies. So this one is kind of a cute one too. And we have taken the, look at all these pieces Nancy die cut for us. She's so awesome. My regular helper is out of the country. So I kind of recruited Nancy and she did an amazing job. So she took this piece of mint macaron paper and she embossed it using that die. Isn't that cool? And then these, this piece, again, she used the, the die and, um, the embossing folder with it and we get another great die from that stamp set and then these two different leaves 
okay? And you can see that they're different. They're both going in different directions, okay? And they too have a little bit of embossing on the edges so you get that kind of veined look in your leaves. And then we have our designer series paper, some of that smooth buttery ribbon. And let's see, we're gonna do our thinking of you. And this one's gonna be in soft suede. And I'm gonna put this little kind of flat piece up there at the top and just, okay, do my thinking of you on there. I love these photopolymer stamps because you can see right where you're putting your image and that it's going to be straight. And, and I will go back before I send these cards out and use some stems on the inside, some little images like that, so that it'll kind of tie them all together with the front of the card. You could also use a little piece of DSP in there if you wanted to. So I'm going to start by... Um, adhering my mint macaron card and because this is embossed I'm gonna add my stamp and seal all the way around because I like to get it in all of those little nooks and crannies really good so we're gonna put that right on and I used some thick white cardstock for my base that just gives it a little bit more sturdy I, a little bit more of a sturdy base to it and I'm gonna just add some of the designer series paper to a piece of white cardstock and you can certainly use this pattern if you want to I'm gonna go ahead and use this one doesn't really matter just pick the pattern that you like the designer series paper is amazing no matter which side you use. I'm going to adhere my sentiment with some stamp and seal and then I'm going to put my, I'm going to kind of lift this piece up with some dimensionals. And the pieces in my baskets after I'm reading. Sometimes things get a little bit mixed up and crazy in different spots. So I'm actually going to put down these little um, leaves. Leaves on a branch they are. I love this color, this mint macaron. I don't use it a lot, but boy, I really, really like it. And let's just put these up here, let me make sure I'm in the frame where you can see. I'm just gonna put one at the top and one at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put my little ring sentiment there. I'm gonna put it at a little bit of a corner. And I'm gonna, this ribbon was supposed to go on here like this. Missed the boat on it. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just kind of pull, when you have your, your ribbons pre-tied like this for a class, you can put your forefinger and your thumb there and just pull it and move it along. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to kind of do it like that on my card. Okay? I think if I do it right... I can cut that bottom ribbon and add it to the bottom of my card. Let me just see. I think every card needs some ribbon. And this ribbon is a little bit bulky to try and make a, um, let me see where I put my paper snips. It's a little bit bulky to try and make a bow with. So kind of your little knot like this is gonna be your best bet. I cannot find my paper snips here. Let's see if they're in this basket. I talked to you about keeping my stuff straight and <laughs> you're still waiting for me to find something. Okay, so let's try this and see if we can 
fix my little boo-boo there. And you could always put your ribbon down and trim the edges of it if you wanted to, too. That works perfectly, too. So I'm just going to do this. And then I think I can do the same thing at the bottom. With that extra piece I took off. So nobody will ever know that I had to switch this one up because I forgot to put my ribbon on there. Okay. Let's get this tape there. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of extra seal on top of these so that they don't come popping out or popping off. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensionals. And I am going to put some dimensionals on a piece of the ribbon and a piece of the cardstock. So it'll hold it like that. Okay. And really your ribbon is on there pretty tight. So you don't really, this is just kind of an extra precaution to keep it on there. And I'll stick one right in the middle because I don't want my middle to sink in. And because dimensionals are one of our least expensive accessories, you get a bazillion of them in a pack. And adding dimension to a card gives it a lot of interest. So, there we go. Yeah, and I'm gonna put that right in the middle like so. So you can see, even though I didn't get my ribbon on exactly where I wanted it to be, it still looks okay. It is extremely crooked, so I am gonna just lift it up gently. straighten it out and I think it's gonna come straight from here let's just see and you can always heat use your heat tool to heat the back of this and it will kind of melt this sticky so it'll peel right off okay and then the other um, accessory that went really well was this was the 221 2021 to 2023 um opal pearl rounds so uh i think i'm gonna use some of these little green ones on there they are so adorable so i'm gonna use a couple little ones and a big one up here okay so that's that one. And then here's the one we actually did last night with the ribbon going straight across like that. Okay. And then we have our little Christmas card. I love these sets that you can use for fall. You can use them for the holiday. They have so many different options and it makes them really versatile which makes them a great investment for us right okay lots of pieces in here too we'll start off with some stamping this is our shaded spruce card base and you should always use a bone folder for this but if you don't have one your nails work um a top of an ink pen will work lots of different things you just want a really good crease in the top of it just taking a minute to check and see if anybody else had any questions i think we're good so i have a piece of designer series paper that's five and a quarter by four and i'm just gonna throw that on top of a piece of basic white card stock that's five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So it is an eighth of an inch bigger than our designer series paper. 
and I am going to actually do some stamping because I don't want to screw this one up. So I'm going to start with my stamping and then add it all at the end after I put my ribbon on. So I'm going to take some, I think this is Blushing Bride. Nope, Petal Pink. I'm going to take some Petal Pink and just put some berries on here. I'll get that up there where you can see it. And then I'm going to take Poppy Parade, which is such a bright, happy, kind of wintry color. And that's going to go on this piece of paper, which is kind of my scrap paper. I'm going to fussy cut out my um, poinsettia. So I'm just going to stamp that on here. went right off the paper with that one. So I love these little polymers because you can see right where they're going to stamp and you can stamp right off the paper if you want. <laughs> Instead of watching where I'm stamping, I'm going right off the edge of the paper. Okay. And I'm going to stamp my little Merry Christmas. And again, I'm going to stamp it so it's going to be on my white paper and I can trim it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take my crushed curry marker and I'm just going to draw kind of in the center of my poinsettia so it gives it kind of that, the same kind of look that the designer series paper has. Okay, I'm going to bring in my paper snips and I'm just going to trim around my Mary and my Christmas. And I'm not going to pay a lot of attention to if it's straight, if it's not straight. That is a good way to drive myself crazy. And it really doesn't matter if it's straight or not straight. You just kind of follow. I'm just kind of following the shape of the words. Okay, so there's my little Mary. And some of you will have to make sure that it's straight, but you might want to have to use a paper cutter. And that's okay. That's all you, and it's your beautiful card that you're making. So go for it. You want it to be a reflection of you, and I'm a kind of a little crazy, and I have to go out of the lines. Sometimes, sometimes I need to be perfectly straight, and I have to put my tongue between my lips and concentrate really hard and make sure everything's going perfectly. That happens more so when I'm coloring than when I'm fancy cutting, but it does happen both times. Just entirely depends on my mood and how much time I have. <laughs> so there's my little Merry Christmas words. And then I'm gonna fancy cut my poinsettia. This is like my favorite Christmas flower. Every year they have a new one, and even though I have the old one still, I have to get the new one because they're kind of like black shoes or that little black dress. I can't have too many poinsettias. Can't have too many flowers from the big catalog. Uh, certain things I like, and they all have kind of a little different flair to them. So this one I have not layered up yet, but I am certainly going to try that. And get two layers going and kind of pop it up and make it look a little brighter. This is an easy one to um, watercolor. So if you're going to watercolor it, I would color uh, your stamp with a marker and then spritz it with some water. And that's going to give it a great kind of watercolor washed out look, which is the kind of look that's going on in this designer series paper. So that's going to be a fun look to do that will match our designer series paper. And I cannot urge you enough to get this paper if you want it. I think that it might be the next thing that goes. I don't know. Those hippos are really cute. It's hard to tell. I, I have so many favorites in that celebration catalog that I'm glad that I got and was able to get them early. 
So, and don't forget you guys, August 6th is going to be our celebration stamp a stick date. I will put the um, details up there for you. Probably tomorrow I'll do a separate post so it doesn't get lost in this video. But we are going to be making eight cards with different celebration items. And they are so adorable. I can't wait to share them with you. I am. Um, I, I get all excited about my in-person classes. You can, of course, order them to go if you are not don't live near me or you're busy that day. You just have to pay the class fee and add the mailing. And they don't come with images, so you have to add your own stamped images to them. But being in the rubber room is always a lot of fun. Okay, so before I put this together, I am going to take my ribbon and I'm going to feed it through the bag here. This is another one of our new label dies. It is so pretty. It's nice and big, so you can put images on it as well as your sentiment on it. I think it's just gorgeous. Now, remember I said you can take your forefinger and your thumb and move that kind of bow along your ribbon. So I'm just going to move mine out a little bit so I have plenty of room to tape it on the back. I'm going to put some dimensionals on here to kind of lift it up. I actually think I'm going to put a little bit of tape here so I can kind of keep my ribbon straight in the back because I want to be sure that it's going to be straight on my card. Okay, so I'm just going to put it like that. And then I'm going to throw some dimensionals on here. I'm not going to throw them. I'm going to stick some dimensionals on here. <laughs> and again, I'm going to use a few of them because I don't want it to sag. This is a pretty big image. And I don't want that middle to be sagging down. And sometimes when you're mailing them, they tend to get a little squishy in the middle. So... Let's get those on there. We're just going to pop the backs of them off. There we go. And put that down. I'm going to try and get my card straight. There we go. And then I'm just going to put some um, stamp and seal back here. I actually, I'm going to kind of fold that over. So it goes on a little flatter. There we go. Just look to make sure those were going to be straight. And they are. So I'm just going to add some stamp and seal to the rest of my card. And again, I'm going to add some over top of that ribbon. I don't want my ribbon to come squishing out there. Make sure my card is facing the right direction. And I'll plop this on top. There we go. Okay, so I have these little green stems. Do, 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 do. And I have two of them. This one, I think. There's like a leaf broken off. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue to these. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and use my stamp and seal. And these again, they're they go in the leaves go in two different directions, so it's perfect for layering them up. And they do have that little bit of embossing in them. If you can see, they have just those little tiny veins in them. And again, I'm going to put one of these at the very top. And then I'm going to come down and put one over here. Just going to slide it right under my ribbon. And then I'm going to put my dimensionals behind my poinsettia. I'm going to actually cut this one in half and kind of squeeze it in there. And you could use your mini dimensionals too for this. They would work perfectly. I just am feeling a little lazy. And oops, that one, look at that. 
And that's what that little lazy feeling gets you, right? I'll go right like that. Okay. It's not like I even have to walk across the room. They're right beside me, but I'll use them on my wart. So then I'm just going to put the little poinsettia there like that. And I'm going to grab my little mini dimensionals. Oh, I had some glue dots in there too. Let's see. If I have, oh, there they are. They're hidden in there, right? Okay. So I'm going to put these little mini dimensionals behind the words that I cut out. And they're kind of like a perfect size to fit right behind there and not be able to see them sticking out. Okay. So when we do our fall retreat, we're actually going to be doing fall things and I'm going to throw in some versatile stamp sets like this so we can do a little Christmas and a little Halloween with these stamp sets because they are so so versatile and sometimes you only need like one Halloween card for somebody special so it's nice when you can get it out of these other cards okay so I'm going to go back to my um, 2021 and 2023 gems here and I'm going to use the shaded spruce for this one and really, you guys, your, your tools really make your job so much easier. I just don't have my tools with me, so I'm kind of winging it. And your snips are always going to be a good tool to help you get these little gems on. When your take your pick tool is not with you where your camera is. I always say I'm going to come here one day and have all of my stuff with me and ready. And you guys will fall over in shock when I do. <laughs> so, there we go. Those are our four cards. And I think that they're just gorgeous. But beautiful things that coordinate with each other. Wonderful products. And when they're free products, it's even better, right? And we have this one and then our first one. I think this, I think that those acorns are going to be really, really pretty with that little um, squirrel that we had. So thanks for joining me tonight, you guys. I really appreciate it. And I will be back um, Saturday or Sunday to do some more celebration um, stuff with you. So we're going to kind of do some special weekend celebration things for the next couple of weeks. So you get to see those products um, in hand and to see how lovely they are and what you can do with them. I also have some swaps that I did that um, are going to be coming in that I'm looking forward to sharing with you too. So have a great rest of the week, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you this weekend. Bye-bye.